Hello guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to this video. I want to believe you're doing good, I want to believe you're doing great. In this video, we're going to be doing an analysis of GBP USD and what to expect from the market this week. In case you're just coming across our videos, in case you're just coming across our channel, I want to say welcome, it's good to have you. What you want to do right now is click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we release videos like this almost every day, letting our viewers know what to expect from the market per time and you don't want to miss out on any of such videos. Before we get into the business of this video, I want to say congratulations to those who were able to take the trade based on our last analysis of GBP USD. When we did that analysis, the market was here and we did say that because of this huge bearish pressure that we saw at the end of um, two weeks ago, we did say that the market is going to sell last week and this support region is going to be broken. And you can see on Monday when the market opened, the market sold quite significantly down here. Then um, Tuesday, Wednesday, it bought again and retested this region. Now let's start our analysis on the monthly time frame. On the monthly time frame, we can see GBP USD started selling from here down to this region. Getting to this region, you can remember that this region was the lowest region it has been in over 30 years then we said it's going to start buying and it did bought up to this region ranged a bit and continued buying made a an inverted pin by here then started selling and when it got to this region made a dodging and remember we did say that after it started buying we said that it was on an uptrend so it's making an uptrend so we considered this the first higher high and or let's say the first significant higher high this the first significant higher low then the market started um, buying again after making this doji and it bought up to this region um i think that was november last year then um december we started seeing some level of indecision in the market but on the monthly time frame ended as a small bullish candle then this january you can see it ended as a doji and this february the market is currently a bearish candle but we know that the month of february is still in session and we've had only one complete trading week um so far in the month of february so there's still a long time to observe the candle now let's consider the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame we can see after the market started buying from here got to this region they started selling sold down here started buying again then got to this resistance region and around this region from here we've seen um, indecision and uncertainty um, up to this region so it was two weeks ago the market ended as um, a shooting star yeah let's call that the shooting star even though the week is quite little then last week we had the market end as a dragonfly doji so you could see the market sold down here and we had a strong bullish rejection and it ended as a dragonfly doji now let's consider the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, you can see the market started buying from here and got to this region. We saw it sell a bit and continue and bought again. Then it has been ranging around here since then till last week, Monday, when it finally broke out of this support region. So when it sold down here, we saw a bullish rejection. It bought again back to this region then on thursday we saw bearish intention and you can see the candlestick here the daily time frame has a long lower week so there was um some level of bearish intention only for the bulls to push the market again then friday the market ended as a bullish candle now let's consider the four hours time frame on the four hours time frame you can see and the market broke out of this support region sold down here then we saw and um, the bulls came in and pushed it up to this region it ranged there a bit then it sold you can see this um the bearish move after retesting this support and the bulls came in in the next candle and pushed it up and um that's how friday ended as a bullish candle so the last candlestick on the four hours time frame is a doji you can see that here so that's what happened in the market last week. What do we expect from the market this week? Now, let me remind us of our last analysis that the last video, 
then I'll also remind us of what we've been saying about GBPUSD since January. Now, in our last analysis of GBPUSD, we did say that um, the market having ranged here for a while, let me compress the screen a bit. The market having ranged in are within the support and resistance region for a while that we're expecting it to break out and if it breaks out then uh, when it breaks out the next thing we want to see is the market to retest either the support or resistance region let me explain if it breaks out on the bearish direction like it did here we expect it to retest the support then make a bearish reversal candlestick pattern and we'll take a sell that's what we said and we also see if it breaks out on the resistance region we will expect it to retest the resistance region which will now turn support then make a bullish reversal candlestick pattern and we'll take a buy but you can see here when it broke out it retested this region made a bearish reversal candlestick pattern only for the next candle to be a bullish candle you can see that and it came back to this support region so what we did say that if we see this bearish reversal candlestick pattern and um, would take a sell was altered after it occurred so the market changed direction it did not um okay the daily time frame did not end as a bearish reversal candlestick pattern you can see that so if thursday had ended as a bearish candle like we anticipated when we see the retest then we would have considered a sell uh, for friday and perhaps beyond but since after the market retested this region so the beat we saw bearish pre bullish pressure and it pushed the market and ended almost like a doji so um there is we can see at this moment that there is not that much bearish pressure in the market then i said i'm going to remind us of what we have been saying about gbp usd from january now we had been saying that when this after the market bought from here to this region and came back here that this is the we consider this to be the first significant higher high i remember we said we believe the market has started an uptrend having sold this much that it has started an uptrend and it will be buying for a while so we consider this the first higher high and this the first higher low then it made a bullish reversal candlestick pattern here which is the morning star you can see it's here and we believe that the market will uh, make the next higher high now when it got here we saw um indecision this resistance held it it did not buy that much and last month we saw bearish pressure which it later ended as a doji and this is the month of february we can see the market sold and came in contact with the 10 day simple moving average before we saw that bullish rejection which we saw on the daily time frame so for that reason i believe that the bulls have come into the market again having the monthly candles sell and come in contact with the 10 day simple moving average and we see this bullish rejection i believe that the bulls have come back into the market you can also see the weekly time frame ended as as a dragonfly doji we show strong bullish rejection even though the candlestick itself shows um indecision and uncertainty but looking at the week we can see strong bullish rejection and of course you can see this is occurring after we see a a considerable amount of bearish pressure then the next candle we saw the bearish pressure continue only for the bulls to come in and reject it so um i believe it will be safe if we say that we expect the market to buy from here so this is how i i think the market will play out this is friday ending as a small bullish candle we would like to see um how monday will end so if we have monday close as a bullish candle and close above the 10 day simple moving average on the daily time frame then we'll take a buy but if we see the 10 day simple moving average come in contact with the candlestick here of course you can see it is still um within this um resistance region which was previously a support 
So if it comes in contact with the 10-day simple moving average and we see bearish rejection and Monday ends as a bearish candle, then we'll have a bearish reversal candlestick pattern at this um, resistance region, then we'll take a sell. I hope you got that clear. Let me go over it again. If we see Monday end as a bullish candle and close above the 10-day simple moving average, then we'll take a buy. But if we see the 10-day simple moving average come in contact with the candlestick and it um, causes bearish rejection, then we see the market end as a bearish candle, making this a bearish reversal candlestick pattern at this resistance region, then we'll consider a sell. So that's what we're expecting from the market this week. If you have a different opinion, you can use the comment section. If you have any question, you can also use the comment section. I'll be glad to have a conversation with you. Like we always say, trading is a highly risky endeavor. You don't venture into trading without proper knowledge. If you know you don't have sufficient knowledge about trading, you don't have to take this trade. You can watch this video for educational purposes and it's going to serve you better than risking your heart and money something you don't fully understand. If you want to get our Forex course, which is a complete guide on how to trade the financial market, it has 30 videos and 3 ebooks, including my book Trading Without Tears. I strongly recommend this course for anybody who is just starting out in the forex space or someone who is yet to find his way around the financial market. So if you want to get this course, check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can get our forex course. And if you want to subscribe for our signal service, we'll give proper entry, stop loss and take profit. Check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can subscribe for our signal service. And if you want to get a copy of my book, Trading Without Tears, check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can get the soft copy if you want a hard copy. Send us a direct message to any of our social media handles. You can find our social media handles in the description of this video. Tell us your location. We'll tell you the cost of shipping it. Once your payment is confirmed, you have the book delivered to you. So that's it from us on this video. I hope you got value. See you in the next video. Bye for now.